Welcome back guys. Here is a watch me work. Um yeah, so I am over the editing software that I use to make my videos. So, if anybody out there knows of any good software to edit YouTube videos with, I would much appreciate a heads up. This software does not have very much stuff in it. I already bought it. I own it and yeah, it is a pain in my backside. I can't even do voiceovers with it because it literally cuts out my voice when I go back to listen to it. So I'm over it. Yeah, back to the video. So this is a Watch Me Work, and this is a set that I am taking down from a couple weeks ago. I meant to upload this to YouTube, but I didn't get there. I lost the footage, I deleted it before I uploaded it, I thought I had uploaded it, and I didn't, so my bad. <laughs> and you're going to see a lot of things that I used in this video that I had in my 2021 challenge. So you're going to see me using my crosscut bit to do bulk and then to shape the nail. And then you're going to see me use my cuticle bit, this little silicone cuticle bit that saves my life. It pushes back the cuticles even further and then gets up all that crusty skin. Oh, I love this bit. And then also I take a shortcut because I do not own black acrylic. I just asked Nikki the other day if she knows of any any places that I can get good black acrylic from and I don't think she's answered me back yet so yeah I'm going to figure this out I need black acrylic <laughs> so I am hoping that I'm going to be able to start getting a semblance of control over this channel I have so many videos that I have yet to upload to YouTube and I'm getting behind on them so fast. I They just keep racking up on me. I really don't know what to do. <laughs> so I'm going to upload everything that I have within a week and I'm going to start doing three videos a week. I'm going to try to do a Try It Tuesday where I try a nail hack somehow and then I'm going to try to do a Watch Me Work Wednesday. And then I'm going to try to do a Super Saturday or a Super Sunday. Whichever, I'm not sure which one would be best. But it will include just super long, super blingy nails. So yeah, look forward to that. And then whatever else I do in between, I will upload hopefully. Because I'm getting so far behind, I can't, I can't keep up with the amount of crap that I record. So, hopefully I will get control over this mess. Alright, so you've seen me take down the bulk, taking off the polish with my cross cut, and now I'm going in with the cuticle bit after pushing back the cuticles, and yeah. We are going to go in and get up all of that crusty cuticle that is left on the nail plate and we are going to sever the connection of the living skin to the nail plate because we need to expose as much of the nail bed as possible. If you notice, I use an overhand grip position to where I put my hand over the client's hand not only so that they can't see what I'm doing and try to stiffen up, but also so I have more control over their finger. And I squeeze the finger on each side, one side with my index finger, the other side with my thumb, and that gives me full control over that finger to rotate it left or right, either which way I need it to move. 
it will hurt you if you are sitting there trying to move your body to be able to get to whatever part of that nail that you need to get to. You will be stiffening up and hurting your shoulders and it will start hurting your elbows and your hand if you, if you are moving yourself to fit your client's position. So you always need to be in control of your client's position and the overhanded grip is the best method for that. So after, after taking down the bulk and then pushing back the cuticles, clearing out all the dead skin off the nail plate, we are going to take shine off of the nail. So I'm going in with my, with my sanding band bit, um, mandrel bit, and I am going around the exposed nail bed. I don't need to go over the extension or any of the acrylic there. I just need to get that natural nail bed, get the oils and the shine off of it. All right, after making sure that the nail is properly prepped, I'm going in and finding the shape again. <clears throat> so this is a redesign and a fill-in, but I'm still going to go back in and reshape the nails to make sure that I find a, you know, beautiful shape. They kind of get out of whack after growing out, so you definitely need to go back in with your hand file and make sure that you make sure that the sidewalls are brought in from where the nail grows out. It will start to look a little bit wide at the free edge and then, you know, just bring in your shape and take control of it. Um, what do you guys think about the idea of me, you know, doing scheduled uploads and taking control of, you know, uh, what I'm going to do on this channel? Because I think it'll be good for me to have uh, a little bit of construction, I guess you could say, uh, to, where, to where everybody knows what days I'm going to upload and what is going to be uploaded that day, or at least an idea of it. If that sounds like a good idea, let me know. I'm not really sure. I'm still kind of new in this. But I definitely have to cut back on, you know, recording and then recording again and then recording again and then uploading one video. So <laughs> I, I think it being more structured might help me a little bit. And then it could also help you to know when to look for videos. Definitely. Oh, wait, this is the part where we're supposed to say, are you subscribed? If you are not subscribed, why are you not subscribed yet? You definitely need to be subscribed. So take this moment to look below the video and hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell, the notification bell, so you can definitely be notified when I upload. Thank you, because I know you did it, right? So here we are with my premium prep routine, that triple threat that I showed you in the 2021 challenge where I go in with my dehydrator and then I use a regular primer. It is non-acid and it does not leave a sticky layer. And then I go in with my Amelie pH bonder that leaves a sticky layer. So you hear people talk about how they have primers that are like a double-sided tape. It sticks to the natural nail, but it leaves a sticky layer that you can apply the acrylic or builder gel onto. So think of it like this. After my dehydrator, I go in with a regular primer that's not sticky. So I think of that as the super glue. And then, and then I go in with my sticky primer. So I prime twice, but with different primers each time. So I got the super glue and then the double-sided tape. How can you go wrong with that? Nobody can come for my prep routine because it took me a long time to get this far. And my nails last, last. They last, last. These nails do not come off. 
I would tell you that now. This is the part where I go in with a super, super wet, super small bead of clear acrylic. Clear acrylic adheres to the natural nail better than colored acrylic would. It keeps the colored acrylic from staining the nail. And then it also gives you something to file back to. But I go in with it super, super wet so that it adheres to the nail bed better. So over my sticky primer, I'm laying down a super small, super wet bead of clear acrylic. And that's going to make sure that my acrylic is bonded to that nail very well. If I was to go in with a drier bead of acrylic or a bigger bead and try pushing it up into the cuticle area, there's a chance that that drier bead or bigger bead is not adhering to the nail as much as I would want it to. This gives me more focus and more control over the fact that this super wet little bead of acrylic is, is able to adhere to the nail bed better. It just is. Um, yeah, so that's why I do this. I do it on whether it's a fresh set or a fill-in. Even on a fresh set, I go in with a super wet, super small bead and I apply it to the nail bed to make sure that I have that, that adherence. <laughs> what am I looking for? I just want to make sure that it is adhered very well to that nail before I start the design. So if you do nails, you've been here. I filed the middle finger down very, very thin and I ended up breaking it off <laughs> at the free edge. The acrylic was still adhered to the nail bed just fine. It was only the free edge that broke off, so I built it again. That's what you see me doing here. I fudged up and broke her free edge off because of filing it super thin to be able to put a design over top of that. All right, so look past where I did the colored block nude. We're gonna go in again with that. So let's start on the silver glitter. These nails are going to be nude, black, and silver. So thank God that I went in with a tiny little bit of clear acrylic to put this silver glitter onto because the next time I do her nails, I'm going to have to file this glitter off. And I do not want any of the glitter pieces all the way down into her nail bed. So it'll protect her nail bed. And then you're gonna see me go in with black gel polish because I don't have black acrylic. So I'm just going to encapsulate black gel polish and it works just fine. And then you're going to see me do a couple other simple designs and a color block nude. So I've made videos on color blocking a little bit, but pretty much, you know, you just go in with your wet bead of nude acrylic and you start using your brush to put the line where you want the line, and then you go back in when it's dry and you file. Um, yeah, I'm not going to explain everything in detail as far as all these fingers go because they are all pretty different. So I'm going to let you go here and I will see you again in the end of the video. So enjoy! Be the best damn lover you got I wanna mess up your covers I don't wanna meet your mother Never ever ask me how I've been Remember why you have my number I'm the best thing that has ever happened to you Here's your time to shine I'll show me what you can do Sitting in the dark With every move I make your fall 
wanna be the best damn lover you got. I wanna mess up your covers. I don't wanna meet your mother. Never ever ask me how I've been. Remember why you have my number. I'm the best thing that has ever happened to you. Here's your time to shine. I'll show me what you can do. guys uh, this is where I was confused in the beginning as to what I was gonna do um, this was a freestyle but I wasn't sure what I wanted to do on the thumb and I knew I wanted to incorporate nude but uh, the design I had in my head really felt like it was gonna be difficult if I did a color blocked nude in there and then black gel polish on each side. So what I chose to do was to keep this one topical. I chose to leave the bulk on her thumb, just do a simple fill. And then after, you know, I got all the other fingers done, I went in and figured this one out on the fly. So <laughs> I used the cream puff base gel and my black, gel polish and I just I went in with the black first and I left space in between for the cream puff base gel and that was a nude I was praying that it matched the nude on her ring finger it it did pretty well um, and then yeah I went around that with glitter but I top coated it twice 
so that I could make sure that that glitter was fully encapsulated. And it worked out great, <laughs> except for the fact that she has alien thumbs. <laughs> Her words, not mine. I'm so sorry if you watch this video. <laughs> I do not mean to front you out on your thumbs, but she has the tiniest, tiniest, idiotiest, bittiest fingers in the world. But then her thumbs are so wide. There is barely anything there, but what is there wraps almost all the way around the top of her thumb. It looks so crazy. So yeah, she has alien thumbs. Um, so yeah, it was just, I chose to do this one topical because I wasn't sure in the beginning what I was even going to do there. So like I said, she gave me a couple pictures. She said black and silver, and I said, all right, let's go with it. So this is what we came up with. And I hope you guys really, really like it. I love this design. Um, somehow I messed the lighting up in our pictures at the very end. So the, the video I did of her, <clears throat> of her hand when it was finished looked a little bit um, dim, I guess you would say. And that was because somehow we, uh, accidentally hit a button on my light that causes it to go to a yellow light instead of a white light. So that's why it looks that way. And I didn't realize it until she had already left. So yeah, but all right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Let me know what you think down in the comments and what you thought about, you know, scheduling uploads and having certain days to be able to look for the videos and all that good jazz. And if you made it this far, definitely leave a purple heart emoji or no, leave a black hearted emoji because this is Black History Month. So, all right, I'm going to let you guys go. Enjoy your day. Bye. I'm gonna be a weekend lover Yeah, I'ma be the best damn lover you got I wanna mess up your covers
wanna be the best damn lover you got. I wanna mess up your covers. I don't wanna meet your mother. Never ever ask me how I've been. Remember why you have my number. I'm the best thing that has ever happened to you. Here's your time to shine. I'll show me what you can do. Be the best damn lover you got. I wanna mess up your covers. 